This is the Chesapeake Explorer. Tonight I'm going to make jumbo fried shrimp and coleslaw. Just like you can get at Ocean Eddie's restaurant on the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier or at the Ocean View Fishing Pier in Norfolk, Virginia. I've got a bag of Dole coleslaw mix from a grocery store. You can get any kind of coleslaw mix or you can make your own with shredded cabbage. Slice it thin, slice it thick, chop it, mince it, whatever way you want to do it. Next I'm going to make my sauce. My coleslaw sauce starts with some cider vinegar and then some sugar. I used to make it 50-50 but now I put less cider vinegar than sugar. I add some celery seed, about a teaspoon. I add a good pinch or two of white pepper, a good squirt regular yellow mustard, some mayonnaise, big spoonful, and a little bit of half and half which is sitting in there. And I'll whisk this all together. Next, I'm going to put some celery salt on the coleslaw mix and I'm not going to overdo it. This stuff has got a lot of salt in it but just a little bit to give it some flavor. I've tasted my sauce and it's just right. It depends on what your taste is. More vinegar makes it more tart. More sugar makes it sweeter. After I mix it up I put it into a smaller bowl. Because the coleslaw, the mustard, the mayonnaise and the half and half were all cold. I could go ahead and serve this now. But all coleslaw is best after it has sat. Overnight is best. A few hours is all you need. And some people add the coleslaw sauce to cold coleslaw right at the table. You can make the sauce up by yourself and uh, put it in a bottle squeeze bottle and then just put that onto the slaw later. I've known some barbecue places that did that. It's still good. This is my breading mix. It's nothing more than white flour, cornmeal, some paprika, and I've got just a little bit more than a teaspoon of salt here. Salt is what gives all these breadings flavor, whether it be for fried chicken or seafood. And that's one reason why fried foods with coatings are very, very high in sodium, which is salt. But if you don't put it in there, you're not going to have any flavor. It's another reason why it's very cheap to make your own breading. It's nothing more than basically those ingredients I just put in take the paprika out of it. You can also put onion powder, garlic powder, other herbs and spices in there if you want to experiment. Mix it up real good. Whatever uh, you decide to use. I've got some jumbo shrimp peeled cut the sand vein out and left the little tail on for a handle. I'm going to roll these in some plain flour. No salt first. That gives a binder to the breading. Then I'm going to roll them in some egg wash, one egg, some milk beaten up, and then they're going to be rolled in the breading mix. There's a shrimp before I put it into the egg wash. And if you don't do that, your coating will just fall right off. And that's what I'm talking about. To give you that foundation to hold the rest of the breading. 
Put it in that egg wash a little bit. Pull it out. Fry it into your breading mix. Toss it around. And when you make your own breading mix, it's cheap. This is a lot less expensive than the stuff you buy. And you can go ahead and put anything else in here you want. You can put onion powder, garlic powder. You can put other spices in there if that's what you want. Oregano, whatever. But basically, most of this stuff is just some flour, some cornmeal, and some salt. After you bread the shrimp, put them in the refrigerator for at least a half an hour to chill, and that lets the breading set up. You can make these in the morning, put them in the refrigerator, and cook them eight hours later. So after you get them breaded, you can relax. I made a couple of sauces here. Some tartar sauce and some seafood sauce or cocktail sauce. The tartar sauce is nothing more than some sweet relish and mayonnaise mixed up. Sometimes I add some chopped capers. To my cocktail or seafood sauce, it's just tomato ketchup, horseradish. I also add a tiny little bit of lemon juice. And sometimes I put some Worcestershire sauce in it. That's it. Mix them up and chill them. The long-awaited moment. Time to eat. Into the granddaddy. Deep fryer. You only want to put a few of them because these are big. You don't want to lower the oil temperature. Now I've got canola oil in there. It only take a couple of minutes. And there it is. Deep fried shrimp. Jumbo. Homemade coleslaw. Just like Ocean Eddie's and the Ocean View Pier. Oh yeah. When you get these jumbo shrimp, you get about three bites out of one of them. Got the coleslaw, tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, and there's all kinds of good french fries today that are frozen, that cook right up. Lots of different kinds. This is the Chesapeake Explorer. We're going to sit down and have some food now.